Hello everyone uh, and welcome. Uh, I'm Suraj Afalushan and I'm excited to have you here today. Have you ever wondered about uh, the dynamic intersection of technology and data science with the uh, uh, realms of social science and biographical studies? Uh, I delved into a captive example showcasing how data science can transform our understanding. In this video, uh, I will present a groundbreaking research project that practically demonstrates the power of data science. Uh, Let's start by exploring an extraordinary concept, the fusion of data science with the biographical data. This venture reveals hidden patterns and insights that shape our historical narratives. Uh, together, we will navigate uh, the application of data science uh, in a profound way. I'm thrilled to unveil my research project, which is one of my best work in data science, uh, because the data set was very huge and unstructured data. The title of this uh, research is Data Extraction and Analysis of British Elite. Uh, using Oxford Dictionary of National Biography. Uh, what is ODNV? The Oxford Dictionary of National Biography or ODNV uh, is that stores biographical information about individuals who have incredibly influenced British culture and history. The data set uh, covered the lives of British elite and who died before 2016. Uh, now imagine uh, the significance of merging data science with biographical research and social science uh, to reveal hidden patterns and insight. I combined a spectrum of skills data science, statistical analysis, graph theory, algorithm design, data visualization. It also needs to know how biographical research can be conducted, British culture and history, uh, some skill set from business subject area, how inflation system works in the UK, how consumer price index and inflation mix and affect to change the value of money over that time and so on. Uh, let's uh, move on to the main objective and research question of this project. Uh, first and foremost, the task is to extract the data from Oxford Dictionary of National Biography and transform the file into an Excel spreadsheet and design a database for efficient storage and retrieval. It is one of the main tasks of this research because the provided data needs to be structured into better format and several techniques has been used, uh, such as most recent techniques also used, which is obviously NLP, uh, specifically here I use NLP, Name Entity Recognition System. And secondly, investigating changes in British elite wealth over time. Uh, identify individuals within the ODNV data set who have familial connection to other listed individuals and construct family tree. Uh, how many women in ODNV who had married a person who are a listed person in, in ODNV? Uh, examine many patterns within the ODNV data set, including the professions chosen by different genders among the British elite. Uh, uh, in this picture, the methodology of the research uh, has shown this is the overall high level architecture. Uh, for the analysis and data extraction, two set of data has been used. The first data set is about biographical information, which is in the XML format. The data set is collected from Dr. Matt and Julian, uh, professor of uh, London South Bank University Social Science Department. Uh, for collaboration and reach out the data, um, Dr. Ducking Chen really helped me out, um, who is uh, the direct course director of uh, data science at London South Bank University. And LSVU received this data set from Oxford University in XML format in the purpose to conduct research and analysis. I'm very pleased uh, to uh, get to uh, miss this data and work on this. Uh, this data set contains um, around 30 39,000 different XML files, and each file obviously consists the biographical details of individuals' person from their birth to death. Obviously, this data set has own ethics and uh, own and regulated by Oxford University. Therefore, if anyone interested to work on this data set, it needs to conduct the uh, uh, authority and get consent to access the data set and maintain all the ethics consideration as well. Secondly, uh, and the former data collected, which is UK CPI information that covered UK consumer price index um, from 1914 to 2016 in each, uh, each quarter. Now, uh, I would like to share how the data has been extracted from this uh, 39,000 XML files. It was very time consuming and complex because the size uh, of the data set is enormous and the data is not well structured. Okay, let's uh, now take a uh, closer look at the official ODNV website and explore the type of information it offers. Uh, this is a uh, website serves a uh, treasure trove of historical narrative for renowned individuals. Uh, through the research function, you can delve into life stories of elite uh, figures. Uh, so obviously to uh, know all the details of elite figure, you need to uh, log in fast. Uh, as you can use your own, create your own credential or you can use sign in by via an institution or if you have uh, ODNV library card, then you can get access as well. 
so i i did login using uh, the library card and after login the interface is uh, like this uh, this is the search button in the search button uh, you can uh, simply enter a person of design name whose information you would like to know or you can even use their uh, odn vid which says distinct uh, uh, distinct identifiers up for british uh, famous person okay now let's explore uh, in which format data has been collected uh, this is the four folder uh contains the xml files this folder contains so many xml files where each xml files has its individual information for example uh this is an xml file which contains a person's information this is okay each xml files yeah, there has an unique odn odn vid uh let's say this is an xml file i already opened it and uh, this is the unique uh odn v uh, id uh, to uniquely identify the elite people individually. Uh, if you look at, at the structure of the file very deeply, you can see uh, the text and element has uh, followed a tree structure root, uh, then child, root, child, root, child, like root, child, root, then child. Almost all of the parents element name is used as a uh, meta item and the last root level, uh, uh, the last child uh, defined as uh, meta describe. Again, uh, for the Parent attribute. The attribute name is defined as about for all the parents. Uh, if you consider parent of this, uh, parent uh, of this, then all the parents uh, attribute uh, uh, is defined as about. And child or last of the attribute name is defined as predicate, which makes it really hard to extract the in uh, intended attribute directly from the XML files. Again, uh, there are so many attributes which uh, value is also same uh, though the text uh, of the attribute or element is different suppose in the last table uh, the when uh, the value of an attribute is first name it may indicate a person own first name uh, suppose this is the main name or full name it indicates actually a person's or name main name or full name so suppose it didn't uh, from this uh, value of the attribute you can't uh, really say that uh, this is the uh, information for his own name or, or this is the information for his parents name and uh, so on uh, this is the uh, tricky part to extract data from all this last and unstructured data uh, as data size is huge and it is not possible to retrieve information with human interaction so several techniques has been used using python programming and used as well natural uh, language processing uh, while extracting the data, it also kept in mind uh, the research objective to answer all the questions, then focus to collect as much information as possible for future research work and open up a new scope for the researcher to conduct the research on this amazing data set. When it used XML elementary parser, uh, however, uh, it would be easy to extract uh, the data using XML elementary parser if the XML file would be you know, structured and unique element name, attribute name, uh, and unique attribute values. Uh, most of the cases in the last table of the dataset, the tag name is meta item or meta describe, and attribute name is either about or predicate. Also, uh, if you look again, most of the case you can see there is some uh, in some there uh, attribute name element name is like uh, the information is uh, stored in p tag i tags, uh, which is simply like so it is hard to distinguish which information belong to which element. To overcome the situation, first chosen some interesting and intended attribute that are related to solve the research vision questions beside uh, this collected others information or uh, also as the goal to extract as much as information possible for future research and used uh, expert method to use the expert method uh, has to look deeply xml files and structure secondly it also observed that some of the path contain multiple times in a single xml files uh, suppose uh, a person may have more than one parents or suppose so this is the parents so one parent so another parent mm. So, uh, if then in some uh, file, there might be more than two or three as well. And for same case for a spouse. So in this case, if you define a specific path, so for a specific there has there might have multiple values. So this uh, also mm, uh, handled using a uh, separator. And I use double comma as a separator. In the second phase, I uh, used uh, name entity recognition to add some more information in the data set such as how many times an individual uh, person present in other ODN VID, does the family member save on ODN VID, and how many times they mention in other ODN VNTs. This information is collected to know their popularity. 
Uh, after extracting the data, uh, it uses data preprocessing steps such as handling multiple information into a single attribute such as a uh, person has several par spouse or parents and this information is stored using double comma separator into a single attribute such as phone name, main name uh, or DNV ID etc. Then to retrieve um, and analyze uh, this information from a single attribute and separate this for uh, each person define a helper function. Uh, also it handles uh, missing values, null values. In the data set, there has uh, one attribute which is probate amount or wealth at death. Here it seems some textual information is added while extracting. Therefore, perform data cleaning and remove uh, all the irrelevant information except keeping probate amount in pounds. In total, uh, 48 different information has been collected and stored in the spreadsheet. Uh, this is uh, the spreadsheet, how it look like, all the information after extracting the data from XML file. Each row represent a single person's uh, information that is extracted. Mm, as you know, while extracting efficiencies matter uh, and during pre-processing analysis as well. So I applied Kimball's trial schema for data warehouse model uh, power, powered by Visual Studio Integration Service and MySQL. This structure streamlines complex queries and facilitates faster data retrieval. Uh, in the database, schema it contains a uh, seven fact table and one dimensional table. Now I'm going to discuss the result of the analysis. Here it showed the result of probate amount changes over time. In general, 500 pounds in 2016 and 500 pounds in 1950 is not same value because of the inflation. To understand the probate amount changes over time, the money has been made equivalent to the year of 2016. Uh, so that 500 pound in 2016 and 500 pound in the year of 1950 refers to the same bill which is shown in figure 3 as a sample. This calculation done using UK CPI information uh, between 1916 and 2016. Uh, I got interested in this particular time frame because while analyzing data uh, it seems that the probate amount mostly changed frequently into this time frame. Uh, it also found in terms of oil uh, of the famous people. It decreased over time, which is um, nearly 733 pound in total. So, which means the decrease of wealth amount refers that, uh, though in general it seems that the wealth of famous people rising over time, but actually decreasing because the inflation and uh, it also might uh, other case such as the taxation system in uh, UK rules and regulation uh, every people treat equally and higher income people need to pay higher tax with certain threshold. Um, there may have also some other facts which is still trying to figure out uh, as a future work of this research. Uh, in figure 4, uh, show top 5 uh, data uh, when all changes over frequently and to make the visualization more comprehensive and understandable. Uh, this 8 date has been filtered in the line graph shown uh, shown in this slide. Yeah, this uh, this figure 5 showed the world changes over time after calculating the CPI. It also noticeable that uh, uh, the notable and sudden changes uh, occurred in 2006. Uh, in the data set, it analyzed uh, around 39,517 people's information. Uh, this is just found that 37 0.14% of individual uh, presented in the DNB whose parents also contributed into British history and culture. And this 37.14% of individual person have own ODNB and T uh, is also. In terms of marriage pattern, it observed that famous people are tend to marry uh, another famous person. Or in another way, it can say that when an individual is successful, it is more likely to be his or her uh, spouse is also successful and they are likely to contribute in diabetes. It, it might be happening in this case, like before marriage, they become successful or are famous or after marriage. Yeah, uh, con um, to understand the family connection, constructed a family tree using BFS algorithm and the tree visualized using graph -based library. The family tree is constructed based on the ODNV dataset. It found that in the ODNV, uh, only parents and spouse information is presented. Based on this uh, dataset, it found uh, that Lily Brayton Elizabeth family has a big familial connection, which is around 8,328 people. And most of them have a common occupation preference, which is obviously politics. But there has a debate. Later, it seems that male famous people are very likely to involve in politics than female. And in the data set, the proportion of male and female data sample is quite different, which shown uh, earlier. This is another example of family tree construction of another family. Uh, in the bar graph, uh, it showed the top 10 largest familiar connection in the ODNB. Here, Lily Brighton frequency has not plotted, which is uh, into uh, the top one. As Lily Brighton Elizabeth frequency is very high, it omitted from the bar graph for better visualization of the other top nine familiar connection.
The word cloud showed the occupation preference of British elite people in terms of gender. Males uh, leaned towards politics and charged while females excelled in writer, actress, and uh, Nobel frequently as part of their profession. However, in terms of writer, both male and female frequency is more, uh, almost the same. This research uh, has contributed in several significant ways. First and foremost, from the XML file, a new dataset created into a spreadsheet, which opened up a scope for social scientists and data scientists to analyze and conduct research into a new dataset. Another remarkable contribution emerged during the extraction and analysis of the XML files. Uh, it takes so much time uh, to, uh, for better calculation, as supplementary text files are generated using JSON dump, which will allow to add new biographical information to the original extracted Excel file easily and decrease the machine execution time by doing faster execution. Therefore, a new record can be added and helpful to expand the data set with the linear time complexity instead uh, of uh, n square complexity. Moreover, a database also created when there have any complex query or research question database will allow for faster data retrieval and analysis. Finally, the research contacted with answering some questions and analyzing the extracted data. Though several questions are answered, still using this data set, there has so many scope to add new insights and conduct research. In this research, the family tree uh, constructed and analyzed. However, when visualizing the family tree, some other additional information of a person can be added as a future work. The extracted spreadsheet contains following information, titles, Duke, Marcus, R, Viscount, Byron, or Baronet, honors like Knight, CV, MB, OV. Uh, as a future work, this information can be also analyzed. Uh, as a future work, it can answer how different schools and college changes over time in terms of their popularity with the ODNB can uh, use full through data to answer how have club affiliation changed over time, how has the popularity of clubs changed uh, over time, or um, some institutions as well, suppose schools, colleges, university. Thank you for watching this enlightened research work. Your question and insights will increase uh, this exploration. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments or connect with me on LinkedIn, uh, I, which is given in the description. Until next time, keep exploring.